Welcome back IP1. I hope you had a great new year and had a great year before that. And I wish you a um, very good year this coming year. I wish you all the best, all the success and very good grades in all your subjects and have fun while you study. So for today, we are continuing the topic of media creation. This is lesson eight. So let's get right into it. Since we're talking about paint 3D, we will continue that topic and learn how to do it more in detail and create um, 3D objects. So using the options on the right panel, you can choose specific color that you want to use, such as here. Using this panel here, you can choose what to do and how to do it. You can rotate by 90 degrees using this command down here on the right. And so you can see it's written rotate and flip. So rotate is this sign with the arrow that will rotate your object in a 90 degree angle to the left or to the right. You can also flip your object, which you can use this um, command or this icon on the right hand on the bottom corner. You can draw on a 3D surface with 2D tools using brush, for example. So here you can draw on this fish using a 2D um, pen or pencil or brush. Here are the brushes and the markers. You go here and then you can choose which you want, what thickness and all the details and you can draw on a 3D object. You can use other 2D tools and um, 2D tools on the 3D shape, such as stickers, shapes, and so on. So here you can see we add some shape and some sticker on the face of the fish using circle and using stickers. Paint 3D doesn't have a complex 3D form, but you can create them yourself using different shapes like spheres, cylinders, and etc. And you can select them all and group them. So take a look at this picture here. You can see there are different shapes and we want to make an octopus, for example. So all we need to do is mix the shape together like this. And then you can group them and you make, uh, you make one object out of many. Next, we have the text. Um, option that you can write down something. You can add 2D text to a 3D, uh, or sorry, you can add 2D text or a 3D text. You can see it right here. You can have more options for color. Also, you can choose the size that you need. And lastly, you can choose the front font style. So you can choose color, font size, and font style. Drag and click on the area that you want to type. Also, you can edit the thickness of the text and make it bold, underline, or tilt it and adjust the text as you need. So you can see you drag it on the surface that you want to write. You choose, do you want 3D text or 2D text? You choose all the details, size, color, 
and font style. And also here you can choose the, um, if you want it to be bold or you want it to be a bit tilted like italic, or do you want it to be underlined and how the paragraph do you want to start from the left or in the middle or right to left? In effects, um, it, um, you, you can, the effects, you can change the light direction. So when you go to effects option here, you can go and change the light um, direction. So how the text is written or even the overall picture. With canvas, you can choose to hide the 2D surface. So if you go to canvas here on the top and you go to show canvas, you can hide the 2D scene. Clicking on mix reality, it lets you to see your 3D shape in the room using your webcam. So here is the mixed reality. So you can see it in the webcam in your room. Also, you can turn off your webcam and see the existing environment such as this. So go to menu and click save as to save your file. You will have to choose how to save it. So you go to menu and you click save as, and you can save as a copy, as a video, 3D model or image, or you can save it as a 3D paint project, which you can open uh, later and edit it. So if the image is an image that you would like to work on it later or just in case you want to save it. So you better save as paint 3D project so you can open it later when you want to use it. Other than that, you usually save as image or 3D model or video. Now let's open our um, 3D paint and practice what we have learned and have a quick review on it. So we just open, when we open, you will see this page as usual, we just click new. And now let me add a small 3D object first. So you go to 3D shapes, you can open the 3D library and just add one or if not that you can go back. Let's see, fish. We have our fish. So let's go through what we learned. So we can edit colors, of course, as we need. And we can add the sticker. On our fish. You can make a face for it. You can have sunglasses.
and you can add basically as you like. And you can draw on it by your brush. So using your brush, you can see you're drawing on the 3D object. Like this. Let's continue to this thing. All right, so something like this, you can see that you can draw on the shape also. And for the rotate, I'll show you show it something also. So you can just see how we can rotate something. Let's do a 2D shape maybe. All right, so you can rotate just by clicking on it, you can see it rotates 90 degree. Also, this is the other way. This is the other way. So we can rotate to the both sides. By using this, you can rotate also. If you don't want to do 90 degree, you can do as the more freely by freehand, by your mouse. This is the flip option that you can flip. And next we have it that we talked already. You can, as I told you, you can draw on your 3D shape with 2D tools as well, like stickers or brushes or any 2D option. And you can add the stickers on them, the shapes. You can mix several objects to make something else as I can show you real quick. You can mix, for example, like a cylinder and this together. You have to fix the size, of course, to make sure it fits. I'll just do it real quick for you so you can see. Okay, something like this, and then you just have to adjust it. All right, so you can see we have the legs here. And like this. It's smaller. Um, So you can make like I just did it very fast, so it might not look as good as I want it to be. But yeah, so basically what you can do is try to make an octopus or um, something like that. Or whatever you like, you don't have to make an opt octopus. You can make any 3D shape that you like. So 
It doesn't need to be perfect, of course. I know you just learned the program. So just try to practice. And by clicking mix reality, you can see your object in the actual 3D like this. You can do the light as you need. You can see the light in the area is changing. And of course, most importantly, you have to save. So as I told you, you have to go to the menu and save as and choose which way you want to save and save it. And of course, also text is very important. You can come to text and drag and you can type or drag and you can type. You can see it's 3D or it's 2D up to you. Depends which you will choose. How do you want to write? All right. And that's about text. And let's go back. We mostly went through everything that we wanted to do today. Now you will have to do some homework for me for this week. You have to create your own 3D and 2D content. Use what you learned. You can mix 2D shapes and 3D shapes um, as we did today. And we learned some today, how, how, for example, the octopus, you can mix different objects. You can make, you can make the fish have different face, like with sunglasses or a smiley face or sad face and use this to achieve the picture that you want to make. You can create any 3D model you like as long as you make it using the tools you have learned. You can use the existing 3D models also, but you have to edit it a bit by yourself to make it different, not copy paste. After you finish, uh, please take a screenshot or save it as JPEG and upload the picture to the e-learning platform. The due date is on 13th of January, 2022. So please send this work before 13. So what you have to do is when you finish, for example, this is your 3D, what you do is you take a screenshot of this picture or you can also go here and save it. Go to save as and save it as an image. And when you save it, you save it as PNG or JPEG or whatever. You can save it and let's say desktop. And once you saved it, you can upload the picture in the e-learning platform like this. All right, so when you finish, you upload a picture like this, whatever you did, 3D, a model and 2D uh, mixed, you can do and upload this as a screenshot or as a saved image to the e-learning platform for me, please. Thank you so much for joining our class today. Have a nice day and have a lovely weekend. Take care, stay safe. See you soon. Goodbye.